Welcome, welcome. It's Bella today. And I decided since I had my altar still up from yesterday's reading of the 99 names of God that um, I would open up the next deck that I purchased um, in front of the video, uh, the camera here, the Law of Attraction Tarot. And this is by Marina Roveda, and artwork by Simone Gabrielli. So, uh, how to achieve your desires. So, I've never seen this deck either. And Law of Attraction Tarot, it says in the back, and it's this lovely goddess energy here, shining up, you know, praying to her star. And it says, Law of Attraction Tarot, our lives are governed by the Law of Attraction, a powerful reality that we can learn to understand and use to create what we desire. These cards help shape our desires by identifying our highest good and our best life and then guiding us through the journey of creating it. Weehee! So let's, uh, let's see how this unfolds. And while I open this up, I do want to give a shout out to Glammy Girl because she did a nice reading for me yesterday. And actually, I did get the Six of Air journey card, so I felt good about that. And I got the transformation card and five of earth. I got some fire energy that came through. Um, see, I wrote it down, five of earth, page of fire, ace of fire. And uh, what else did I get here? Well, I got Doreen Virtue and the Nine of Cups come out in a little mermaid outfit. Ha! <laughs> Fabulous. And uh, Major Arcana's was uh, the goddess and La Luna came to say hello. And a queen of water, queen of air, queen of, it was fabulous. She she took time with me, so I appreciate that girl. All good in the house. Ooh, look at this, another deck that opens like this. Okay, my friends, so we gotta, we're gonna take this slow. I kinda like, look at that, how they have the cups. Okay, this has the knights in it too, queen, king. Okay, the page, they're calling the name, the cups, coins, wands, swords. It gives a little directory, that's nice. And here we go, Law of Attraction Tarot. And that's wild that it has the key to unlock the uh, the handle here to the gateway because actually um, yesterday's reading, I'm, I'm into numbers very, very much because I believe numbers turn into codes which help unlock uh, gateways and lock gateways. So just to see this right now, I think it's pretty synchronistic. So... That's pretty cool. Oh, it's an in color, too. That's nice. Yowza, I like that. Because some of these, um, well, I don't want to critique decks right now, but uh, I like when I see the color images in, in the book, in the book. Okay, the Law of Attraction. This obviously is the back of the deck. Fabulous, and so you can see it has a star sign, and looks like different planets and in the circular formation and the key to lock the gateway that's what I'm gonna call it because that's what I believe it's what I'm feeling right now especially since yesterday's reading all right so we are going to play with this deck right now and see what delivers I'm going to do a nine card spread because uh, if you saw yesterday's you understand how I feel about the nines Okay, and how you can multiply them and uh, still come out into break it down and still comes out to nine. So there is a there's codes in that people. It's all about numbers and codes, okay? And if you follow the thought deck, you understand that. It's about the symbols and numbers, symbols and numbers and all that good stuff. Okay, this I can tell this deck has a little tightness to it. Some cards are a little packed in tight. All right, my friends, let's sit down and relax and do your start your deep breathing as I get ready to select nine cards. And remember, we deep breathe and hold it for nine seconds because nine is my number. 
and then gently exhale gently slowly for those nine second count and I will randomly put down the cards and I'm going to burn another amber here that I have to celebrate the opening of a new deck in my home and my table. Burn good. Oh yeah. I have to take it to the side. Okay. Deep breathe, my friends. Hold it in there. Slowly deep breathe. Nine seconds. wanted to come out. This one wanted to slide out of my hand, so I'm going to put it to the side. I could feel it. I didn't pick it. It just, just slid between my fingers. I'm going to keep all these cards have energy. Just like the Empress has different energy than, than the, uh, you know, Two of Swords. It's all about the energy, the vibration, the frequency. And that's why we smudge, to elevate the frequencies. Get clear negativity from the table. Very important to smudge your houses, people. We talked about crystals, cleansing your crystals, very important. And sea salt, and you know what, when I take my sea salt baths also, I uh, put crystals while I'm taking the sea salt bath. I put them in there, okay? Um, I seem to love it, and I think they like it too. Okay, all right, I'm still shuffling because I, I kind of like this deck so far. All right, the Law of Attraction Tarot. Let's begin with the first card. All righty. Okay, hold on. I know this is a nine, but let me see what the little... See, it, it, I'm just trying to see what, what that means right there. Because it just says nine, and I'm not sure what it means there. So where's this book here? Wands. Okay, now that makes sense to me. Okay. Wands. Okay, let me memorize. Okay, that's pretty simple now. I get it. Okay, so now we have... Nine of Wands. Okay, very good. And you know what? I'm definitely going to read from the book because, like I said, I I want to now, you know, give credit to these people who, you know, do all this stuff. Hold on. Let me put the card down. You know, they take time to work with these their cards, and they have a, um, a scenario for it. So I'm going to definitely read a, from the book. Um, so let me see. Okay, let me hold up the card again. But, you know, we know wands in the traditional tarot. You know, it's that fire spirit element. I'm just trying to look at it myself. I don't want to take... I know people say, don't worry how long you take on a video, but I think it's just sometimes people won't watch a whole video if it's too long. But, okay. Alrighty, my friends. So here we go. We're working with the... Um, wands okay and you know that obviously looks like a man's foot so you know there's about that fire energy that male principle okay and it says here the description keywords okay i'm just going to read the keywords and the interpretation not the description of the card and then once we uh settle in with this deck i kind of think i like it already um we'll work with it some more but the key words, openness to knowledge, studies, exams, competitions, the need to be patient and think. Interpretation, 
If you encounter obstacles, don't get discouraged. Instead, resort to your imagination and explore new ways to put your plans into practice. The secret is not losing your enthusiasm. It's simple. Imagine being a pianist who has played the same piece thousands of times, but at each performance is able to infuse new life to the same melody, changing the tone slightly or introducing a small detail to give freshness to each note. Alrighty, so that's the Nine of Wands. Okay, let's go to the next card. And we have the Five of Coins. Ugh, let me make sure again. Yes, okay. Alright. Just want to make sure. Okay, and the Five of Coins is also the Pentacles. Okay, so let me turn to the little book. Bit good. And you know, coins is about the earth plane, pentacles. Let's see. Okay, five of coins. Alrighty. And we have a Cupid with heart. Let's see what it says here. Keywords, strong sexual attraction, investments in clean energy and in alternative therapies, evolution of a financial situation, the interpretation. One of the most common limiting beliefs is that, quote, it takes money to make money, unquote. What happens if you begin to believe such a thing, that until you have money, you won't be able to earn more? If those around you are not good role models for changing the way you relate to money, then expand your circle of acquaintances. Read, study, and attend courses. Only then will the barriers that hinder you begin to fall. Okay. Well, so far we're being told to, uh, you know, to study some more. And, uh, okay, I kind of see a little. And here they call the five of coins the partner. Ability to instill courage in others. Okay, I liked it. Okay, the next one. Ten of coins. Now I'm getting it, people. We've got some fortune cookies here. Okay, and we know tens are that last number of the minor arcana. Okay, that, that transcendence card that you've already gone from ace to ten. And you've gone through many lessons to achieve. So let us pull it up here. The ten of coins should be... Pretty simple. Next page is in here. Okay. Vaya con Dios. Here we go. Ten of coins. Luck. The way of prosperity completes. Key words. Wealth and prosperity. Good fortune that arrives after a lifetime of work. Inheritance. The interpretation. Words can change experience you have had and can have. Analyze your language when you talk about money and identify the emotion it provokes in you. Is it negative, causing you, causing you to look at and touch money with disdain and mistrust, or does it spur you and improve your financial circumstances, making you do your best to increase your income? Whatever it is, don't forget that money is energy. The more you have, the more you can build up. Well, I like it so far. You see pretty much what we've been reading is, you know, we got to, you know, take time to study and, and, and don't let people tell you you can't do things. And then, you know, you get to that 10, that number 10. And, and you, if you've done it all yourself and you think, uh, you know, don't think about money so much, even though it has energy, think about the abundance of the flow of the universe with positive thoughts, what the universe will deliver after you work hard and, and you give it all you've got, right? Give it all you got. Okay. Next card. Oh, this is the cups. I think this is the Knight of Cups. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. There's no number there. See, it's got a little crown here. So let me let me go to the cups page. And it's a man holding a bouquet of flowers. Okay, and we know that's male energy, no doubt. Alrighty, so let's see. Go to the cups. Okay, it cuts in the front. Oh, the knave. Okay, so, so, oh, the young, the knave. So that's um the female energy. 
I would have to consider because the knight is the next on this page you see we have the knave of cups and then the knight of cups so this is like the page and usually that's female energy but let's see maybe she's expecting and it says the knave of cups the young admirer and this is kind of cool coming into uh, now this you know Valentine's Day or this month where you know everybody gets charged up jacked up about where's my soulmate <laughs> where's my twin flame okay Knave of Cups, the young admirer, passage from childhood to adulthood. A young man is intent, oh, let me read the description. A young man is intent on ringing the doorbell of a house. One hand is hidden behind his back and holds a bouquet of red roses, the symbol of ardent passion. These flowers are connected to Venus and feeling of love. Legend has it that roses were originally only white and that red roses came to be when a few drops of Venus's blood scratched by their thorns while rescuing her wounded lover fell on their petals. Okay, you see how people, why I like to read from different people's books because they author everything different. The key words, loving friendship, fear and desire for love, a friend or a trusted and affectionate collaborator. The interpretation, perhaps your most intimate desires scare you a bit given that the idea of abandoning self-control is blocking you and feeding your stress. Most likely your upbringing, excuse me, most likely your upbringing, the relationship you have with your body and your natural shyness represent obstacles. In fact, you have a remark, in fact, you have a remarkable and as yet unexplored erotic potential. All you have to do is develop it. To do so, relax the mind and body by practicing yoga, dance, or biofeedback. Wow, God, I haven't heard that word in a long time, biofeedback, but that's, I've had that done. I kind of believe in that. All right, so we've got the uh, young admirer knocking on the door here. Okay, let's see the next card. Okay, this must be the magician because it has number one. I would consider this the magician. Okay, let's go to the book here. The magician. And I guess I'll, I'm going to read the whole page, people. Okay? The magician, planning, moving freely with the mind leads to making choices and inevitably transforms dreams into projects. Description, a young man appears busy with hammer and nail Resoling a shoe, wears a long multicolored coat, predominantly red, the color of energy, and a wide brimmed hat. The scene takes place behind a hedge. Key words innovative, achieving position, determination to succeed, a free and independent person. Interpretation You may ask yourself, what is planning? Question mark. The card is the answer. Planning is organizing your dreams according to a precise plan. This means writing them down in detail, ensuring that they respect your core values and identifying at least three different ways to achieve them. No, no un, unachievable nor muddled goals. Remember to establish a way to recognize when you will have put them into practice. You will thus avoid wasting precious time. And we talk about that, right, my friends? Write down. You know, when you wake up from a dream, you know, try to journal them. And um, that's how we move and, and with intentions to manifest, right? We write down our intentions to make them manifest. And the magician is, a, even though he's number one, he's still, you know, the man of alchemy. You know, he's, he's the Merlin, okay? So we got to listen to what he's saying. Just uh, believe in yourself, people. All right. Ace of coins looks like right here. We've got the coin on the bottom and number one. So we've got the ace and we've got the two serpents wrapped around. And this is here, the zodiac, Chinese zodiac is the year of the snake. Okay, so I like this already. And I'm going to drop a video about that um, zodiac sign because last year was the um, year of the dragon, the water dragon. So I think this year is the year of the water black snake, if I'm correct. I haven't, don't, don't, don't quote me, uh, but I know it's the year of the snake. I just... I think it's the water snake or, and the black snake, but I'll look it up. Okay, let's turn to the Ace of Coins. Yeah, I like to follow the uh, Chinese zodiac, and I think that begins sometime in February. Also, that's why I haven't really studied what it is, because I want to drop a video just for that. 
You know those Chinese? <laughs> Been around thousands of years. I think they know how to do it. Ace of Coins, healing. The concrete aspects of existence. Description, the staff of Asclep Asclepius, Greek god of medicine and healing, is represented by a stick around which two serpents are intertwined, a symbol of intuition that springs from first-hand knowledge of nature. At the top of the staff are two small wings and a globe. The key words, the power of money and material goods, family, life, health, home, contract, the interpretation. You're convinced that money is a tool that allows you psychological well-being and the ability to de develop and grow. Millionaires, in your opinion, not only have money, but above all, the attitude and mentality of those who know they create their own destiny. To be rich, in short, is a lifestyle that can offer more opportunities, more freedom, and more choices. To become rich, you believe, is not a privilege reserved for the few, but a question of having the right approach to life. There you go, people. Go for your dreams. Go for it. Abundance is around the corner. Look at this. How many coins have we had so far? Yowza. And the magician telling us the same thing. Okay, now a wands comes up. Two of wands. Here we go. I'm going straight to the book. Okay, two of wands. And we know that's all about spirit. Fire energy. Fire, fire. Action, action. Two of wands. Okay, and this looks like it has a uh, sort of a dark figure behind him here. Okay, let's see. Two of Wands, restlessness. Motion rests on dualism. Description, the shadow of a deformed being is projected on the walls and is being observed by a perplexed but respectable looking man. This is the other side of his personality, that which he refuses to acknowledge because it represents the negative part of oneself. For him, it is the one in which instinct governs over reason. Keywords, radical change, the need to put an end to a hesitation, contrast, antagonism, the interpretation. On the road to awareness, you will have many doubts. They will test your desire to change. By questioning your desire for change, you will strengthen and legitimize it. This mustn't frighten you, as change means taking risks, exploring unknown territories, and living in uncertainty for, a uncertainty for a period of time. When your discomfort becomes unbearable and the benefits you stand to gain from change outweigh the possible disadvantages, you will know that for certain that it is time. All right, my, my friends, and you know, we all got the good, bad, and ugliest, right? Good, bad, and ugly is in all of us. You know, the light and the darkness. But, you know, that's why we become fierce and fearless, you know? We keep moving forward to our positive destinies. We don't, we don't fear. That's, you know, who, who was it? Winston Churchill said it? Oh, my goodness, I can't remember. You know, the quote. It's a famous quote. You know, the only thing you need to fear is fear itself or something like that. All righty, we got the queen here with the queen of cups. Beautiful. We know we like her energy. So yeah, people, have no fear. You just keep ticking on. Go towards your dreams. You know, ask all these artists and, and these, these millionaires or whatever. You know, they acknowledge their dreams. They knew they wanted to achieve something, and they went out and got it no matter. I just posted on my Facebook wall today about how all these, uh, like Oprah was raped at nine. Um, Steve Jobs worked uh, in some, you know, tea shop or something. I mean, it was just like all these things that they... They, they were obstacles, but they moved forward. So I'm glad that I got that card today. Okay, the Queen of Cups. Let's move to the Queenies. Yes, and the Queen of Cups came out for me yesterday. So let's see um, what she has to say. And the Cups are all about our emotions, you know, female energy also. So now we've got the Queen of the Cups. So let's see what she has to relate. Okay, Queen of Cups, the mother, charitable person inspired by faith. And you can see she has a little baby, um, you know, still with the umbilical cord uh, in her belly. Description, the image of a pregnant belly inside of which appears in detail a fetus can be taken as an evolution and maturation. 
but also as a renewal. The time in the womb alludes on a symbolic level to a period of stagnation designed to nurture and to transform the unconscious forces. This image may also refer to an idea that is in gestation, waiting to sweetly come to light. And you see, that's what we're saying. People put the intentions down to manifest your dreams. The key words, beloved woman, be it a lover, a companion, or mother, pure femininity, selfless love, interpretation. Often it is thanks to a great disappointment that you can learn to truly love. The expectations your parents taught you fade away. Once you find yourself alone, you can confront your suffering. Learn to see more clearly what is really important inside yourself. You must simply free yourself of illusions, allowing the unconscious to choose for you. And isn't that wonderful? Right after this um, two of wands, see, he's fearing the, his, you know, what the subconscious there. So don't fear what, what's an illusion. Don't, don't even look behind you. Keep looking forward, people. You know, we don't walk backwards, do we? We walk forward. Okay, the last card. Woo! The Wheel of Fortune. Get down on it. Fabulous. You see, this whole reading is telling me we just have to work step by step, day by day. And I think we've been kind of talking about that for a while now. This is 2013, and Jupiter just went direct today, and Jupiter is the planet about luck and abundance. Oh, my gosh, I think Jupiter's in my house right now, no doubt about it. Look it up. Jupiter went direct with a bunch of astrolog astrologers on the uh, YouTube talking about it because uh, this hasn't happened since uh, last year sometime, and I think it won't happen until 2014. So this is like energies and the planets are all aligned i mean all aligned okay facing earth beautiful we got the earth we got you know facing the sun but i mean it's all the earth all the planets all aligned towards the solar sun the energies are magnificent it just happened today I think about 2 30 our time wonderful so here we go close the reading with the 10 the wheel of fortune and look how beautiful the picture is there rainbow and see what he's pointing at? The middle, the input. It says input here, if you can see. Input on his finger. And look at that. He's zeroing in on the target. Okay, the bullseye. Very good. The wheel of fortune. The wheel of life. You should throw yourself into the game of life, even if everything that begins sooner or later must end. Description. The card depicts a wheel divided into six segments. Environment, health, spirit, relations, amusement, and work. Each segment in turn contains five notches, representing the degree of happiness. The environment segment is colored orange. Health is yellow. The spirit is sky blue. Relations is colored red, and that of amusement pink, and that of work is green. A finger written with the word input points to the wheel. Key words. End of a cycle, beginning of a cycle, circumstances favorable to the question. And the interpretation of this card, you must reflect on the inevitable alternation of good times and bad times, abundance and scarcity, joy and sorrow, because life is constantly changing, encouraging progress for those who deserve it, and causing the fall of those in the wrong. We talk about that too, right, people? You get what you give, no doubt about it. And if you're shady and you want to cheat people, uh, you get what you give. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to definitely repeat those words. If you don't wish for everything to repeat itself with the same errors and the same dynamics, you must become aware of the mechanism that regulates this process. Put yourself at the center of the wheel and find your balance. And that's what it is. You know, the dark side, the light side. We have to find our balance, but we keep moving forward with determination, just like the chariot card, that determination. You know, the two horses, the, the, um, the individual is driving the two e energies, dark and light, okay? But he's determined to keep them both in balance. So here we go, and then we'll get, and the chariot card, we know it's number seven. So now we keep going, and then we get to this wheel of fortune. And I know in... Uh, this is fabulous, and the rainbow colors, okay? We know that that's a sign of 
the heavens right there. So they want us this year, Jupiter going direct. Make this the year 2013. The best is yet to come, but you got to make it happen. You can't rely, you know, on others uh, except if they 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 share your they share um, your goals, okay? If they are your cheerleaders, then definitely get them involved. But if they're the haters or they're like jealous, you know, just just leave them. Like we said, you know, just don't even give them any mind in the respect of, you know, and I know it's difficult because, you know, some people are always in your face, but when you stand strong for what you believe in, even if other people don't want to hear it, you stand firm and strong. This is your life. Don't let anybody fool you, okay? I hate being misled and being fooled, no doubt about it. And you can tell I get ornery. You know, I'm in my 50s. I have that opportunity now. I'm not 20, 30 who I used to, you know, say be the yes man, the yes girl, you know, and bend over for people, and they're the ones, you know, shitting on me. So I'm done with that deal, no doubt about it. But I think this is wonderful. You see, I get excited, people, because I like to get excited. That's what gives you the energy to continue. Okay, very good. Oh, we got this last card. Hold on. Oh, the Knight of Wands. Oh, my goodness. I know he's a boy of all action. He a playboy, I believe. Uh oh he was to the side, so we might have to watch this guy, but let's just read him real quick because I, I could feel that card come out between my hands. I could feel him. Oh, here we go. There we go, the Bachelor. Oh, Lord, help us. Channeled instincts. A dark-haired man is leaning on the counter at a bar. He is dressed casually and observes the coming and goings inside the locale with the air of someone who wants to conquer and contemplate, but without being subjected to the influence of others. Keywords. Proposal for change of residence. Quick decision for a transformation. Voluntary abandonment of the pleasures of the world. The interpretation. The need to possess objects, especially if they are not essential such as a second cell phone, a third TV, or the latest navigation system is making you take time and resources away from your important needs, such as family and health. Recover your internal energies by listening to your desires. Remember that self-realization is a journey through two paths. The internal subjective path requires time to identify the dreams of your soul. The external objective path asks you to reconsider your work and how you express the dreams of your soul in the world. You see, people, you know, it's not it's not wanting, okay? You know, it's not want, want, want. You know, it's more like you work for what you earn and, and, and like the Ten of Cups, it's that fruition, that fertility, that you deserve what you're getting. Not you just want, 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 okay? No more wants. You work for you what you get and then... You will see the universe will deliver much more. Okay, my friends, I'm going to shut down, but uh, I like this deck. I liked it a lot. Ciao, ciao. Look up uh, Jupiter going direct and, um, and make that dream journal, people, and meditate. Meditate, meditate. Increase your vibration, your energy. Drink plenty of water. I'm going to do, a again, a video. Drink plenty of pure, clean water. Boil your water, people. You don't have to go buy water. You boil it. And, and try to get off processed foods. This is how we increase our energy levels, our frequencies, and tapping that love and light, and then the universe delivers. It aligns. We get aligned, like what's happening right now with Jupiter going direct with the planets in alignment. Okay, my friends. Good night. Bye.